Tubi. Well, I've got my last three ornaments I painted that are ready for customized cups. Which one am I going to do? This one. So let's do a nice back bend like everybody does. Move these out and get everything ready. And okay, there to go. Yep. There we go. And get this all cleaned up. So I already prepped it and I'm going to paint it purple. And I was actually surprised. Usually when I use this purple, it takes about three, four coats to get it opaque, and it didn't. It only took one. It might also help that I had two coats of gesso on the cup. And I will link the first video where I prepped the cup. Not that anybody watches my videos or cares, so but I still do. Yep, doing another coat. Let me dry. There we go. And I already drew the, you know, Jack Lantern. That's the one, Jack Lantern face. And get the black marker and do this. Just trying to cover up all the pencil. All of these acrylic markers. I'm trying to clean up the lines. Oh, that's actually the face I need. Oh, do you notice the mistake? I didn't actually look at the ornament before I drew this face, and I forgot there's two teeth on it. It's okay, I forgot some other details too that I had to add in. Alright. Now I'm going to use the green to be the what? And use green felt around the top to be the stem. Okay. This. I wonder if this shows up any better on full size, because to me this is. I can barely even see that green. Of course, my screen when I record this voiceover is the size of a post note, so. Yeah, I keep having to prime the tip to get more green paint in it. I had fun with the orange when I did the eyes. That one had dried out. Okay, now. Forgot the eyelashes, so I had to go back in and do them. Another thing I'd forgotten. I like to do the outside ones and then do the center. There we go. Now I think I got the orange marker if I remember right. Oh, look at the. Shadows inside that cup. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's okay. I edited that different. Yeah, look at the problem I have with that orange. Did not want to work. Hmm. Okay, worked a little bit there. And narrow. This thing got on my nerves. Try to get that. Oh, so annoying. <coughs> Sorry, I had to call. Thought covering the microphone would hide it, but it didn't. Doing that. Now for the purple lines. For some reason I really like doing these lines on here. I've gotten a lot better at drawing straight lines, I have to admit. I 
And what's funny is when this purple marker dries, you can, it's really kind of hard to see. All right. Now for my signature and silver, of course. And I put this up to dry and realized I forgot some details. So I put them in. Let's see what it looks like with the warning. And I hit the camera, evidently. And there it is.